Well, the first meeting of the Jamestown Broadband Commission took place last night as members and city officials look towards getting early, easy access to internet for those within city limits. Bronson Rasmussen joining us live now in the newsroom with more on this citywide internet plan. Bronson? Justin, brainchild of Mayor Eddie Sundquist, the $25 million proposal would provide all within the city of Jamestown affordable and accessible internet. Uh, which may seem like a lot, but really only adds about 15 to $20 on your overall bill for internet service in a community like Jamestown. Uh, so we recognize it's a lot of money, it's a lot of upfront cost, but certainly has a, an incredible benefit. A driving factor was the COVID-19 pandemic, which forced many school-aged children solely to remote education. But as Jamestown Public Schools Chief Information Officer Jesse Joy tells us, giving kids those devices sometimes wasn't enough. Three out of four students uh, live in a household that relies on financial assistance to pay the rent, uh, to purchase groceries, uh, just to make basic ends meet. So um, for those students, it's very difficult uh, to uh, have the extra resources to, to pay a $75 to $100 a month internet bill. If the municipality adopts the plan, it would provide residents and businesses with a fixed cost for internet use. Out of all the options on the table, the mayor prefers an open access network. The city does what it does best, which is making infrastructure, running wires, uh, making sure that the service is there, and then allowing ISPs, those internet service providers, uh, to be able to compete on a marketplace and provide that end service as well as customer service uh, to each of our households. In the end, officials feel internet service is an essential part of everyday life, just like water. Internet access, broadband access, is as essential as electricity, as, as uh, running water. So it, it is, by and large, a utility. We just, we just um, don't have access to it as a utility. So, what's next for the Broadband Committee? They have requested more information on internet access in the city. Meanwhile, Mayor and Sudquist will get a hold of other municipalities that have already adopted citywide broadband. Live in the newsroom, Bronson Rasmussen, WNY News Now.